Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching this video tutorial. Now, today I'm going to be bringing you a Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, it's basically creating an exploding cube. However, alternating the settings, you can make it so it basically uh, comes to explode into a cube. So, let's just give you a quick brief of what I'll be creating. Now, just say I'll drag the strength options here you'll see that all the different squares just start to basically explode out. Now adjusting the speed, which I'll come to later, if you change it to a negative, it will start to explode in. If you change it, if you just keep lowering it, it'll start to explode in. Okay, so let's get started. I want to go to File and New. And first thing I want to do is I want to make a new plane. So click and hold on the cube uh, thumbnail and just click and hold and go to plane. Now depending on how big you want the plane, uh, you can adjust it to that. But I'm just going to pretty much spam in nines because bigger the better, so to speak. Anyway, there you see you have a plane. Now you want to add in the cube, so just click on the cube. So then just hit the by going on the green arrow, just drag it up so it's on top of the cube, so it's on top of the uh, plane rather. So it's just sitting on top, so just click the render button there. There you go, you've got a basic cube where you can't really see it, but it's there. You can't see the two sides due to the lighting that Cinema 40 gives, but we get the gist. Now I'm gonna make uh, go if you go to under the material properties down here, go to file and shader, and if you go to new key, and this is basically a glossy blue texture uh, material. So if you just render it there, you can see the sides. Now you can change the color from blue by just double clicking on the circle, and just go to diffuse a color. This is the main color. Change the color to whatever you want. Okay. But I'm just gonna keep it, give it back to blue. There we go. Then before we go any further, I'm gonna create a light, which can use to be cast shadows and create a bit of contrast. So you see the little four arrows um, head in different directions. Just click that, create a default light, and use the green arrow just to drag it up a bit. Blue this way and red maybe just this way. Line it up, however. And then which maybe just click the preview, see how it is. There you go. And down here into shadow options, you want to go to shadow maps and then soft. Then render it again and it will basically create the shadows. Now, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the main part of this tutorial. Which is basically exploding the box. Now to do this, you want to go to the little bend thing. Bend thing. <laughs> Next to the four arrows, click and hold. And go to explosion. Now nothing will happen as of yet, but what you want to do is you want to get explosion and you want to drag it down onto the cube until you've got a down arrow. Now with the with the um, explosion selected, if you start to adjust the strength, you'll see that it starts to see that it starts to break away and fall off. Now, as I showed you earlier, it's all in different little pieces, whereas here it's kind of doing it side by side. Now, to change this, you want to go over to the cube, hit the cube, and you see down here it's segments. So, if I just say I create the segments to 8, 8, and 8, uh, if, you want it, if you want the segments to be all square, uh, make sure all the numbers are the same. But anyway, I've, I'm using segments all 8. So, now if you go back to the explosion, and just the strength and you'll see that it's basically created um, eight segments per side so it all starts to disperse now we've kind of got the strength options you can change the speed which is kind of the velocity as well so struggle the strength it probably they'll, they'll disperse quicker before flying away and you can also do the randomness so, just say you have it on randomness zero, and you go to strength, it will all kind of disperse away in the cube shape. But I like to give it a bit of randomness so it's not a block. 
just around about 50, but it's all down to personal preference. Now once you've got that, what you can do is you, you want to be able to uh, keyframe it. Now keyframing um, is quite tricky. When, when I say tricky, I mean it was really easy in fact, but yeah, it took, took me a while to find out of exactly how to do it. Because the keyframe button here, it won't work by just pressing that. So anyway, you want to have this little green tab up here. You want to have it on zero to start with. And I'm going to make the strength a hundred. Well, I'm having zero. If you want it to explode in, have it on a hundred now. And then we'll go to zero later. So it'll go to go in and uh, explode in, sorry. But if you want it to explode out, have it on zero at the beginning and increase it along the timeline. So I'm going to have it on zero. And I'm going to hit the little button next to the keyframe in the middle. It looks like two little arrows. Automatic keyframing. So I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to hit the little key next to it as well. Then if I move forward, move forward 50 frames. I'm going to change the strength to 100. And keyframe it there. Now if you start to play it back you'll see that it will start to explode out and to be honest that is about it make sure you hit that button next to the keyframe in the middle otherwise it won't work I don't believe but let's go back and just go back there hit the preview button and you see it's cast some nice shadows here if you want to lower the strength of the shadows go to the light and where it says intensity you can lower the intensity and it will also lower the shadows, but it also lowers the lighting as well. But that is another 100. Okay, render it out. There we go. Nice glossy cube. Change the color to whatever color you want. Change it to change it to green, lime green. Render that can be used as an intro you can maybe use it so it explodes out on this text inside maybe could be a good idea but I'm just showing you techniques that can be used uh, use them in your own way but that is about it so you've got the keyframe in so there you can maybe make a distorted cube if you if you basically just go back to explosion here and you lower the speed down quite a lot. Have it on two. And if you up the strength you'll see that it starts to create different panels. So it looks kind of like a Rubik's Cube which is quite a nice effect. That looks quite nice. So then you can go and go to Cube and you can maybe lower the segments. I don't know how much it is. I think it's is it three. That's a Rubik's Cube isn't it? I think it is. Yeah. Kind of looks like a distorted Rubik's. It kind of looks quite cool. Good anyway. That is about it for today's tutorial guys, thank you for watching, uh, please remember to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys later, bye.